Oh, yeah. You have to bear with me. I am at the horniest part of my menstrual cycle. <laughs> you know when you just want somebody to hit it with a spoon? <laughs> a big spoon. You know, maybe a serving spoon or a ladle. Not a teaspoon, that would get lost in there. <laughs> I, have, uh, I have quite low self-esteem, uh, but somebody recently called me a fox. They said I was a fox. And I said, shut up, I'm not a fox. Shut up. And then I thought, maybe I am a fox. Thanks. Maybe I am a fox. In that I regularly eat out of bins. I sometimes refer to myself as a reverse Hulk. Do you remember the Hulk? Yeah, the Hulk. Yeah, I'm a reverse Hulk. Because I burst out of clothes and then get mad. <laughs> I recently decided to treat myself to some posh shampoo. When I buy shampoo, I normally just buy whatever's on offer. Three for two, two for one, nine for five, whatever. But I decided to treat myself to some posh shampoo, so I went into a posh shampoo shop. And I was standing looking at the big wall of shampoo and a member of staff came over and I thought, oh, that's why I don't normally go in these shops, because now I have to have a conversation. <laughs> and she said to me, what do you struggle with? <laughs> now, looking back, I think she meant my hair. <laughs> but I just said, anxiety. <laughs> my weight. And today, thrush. <laughs> but I looked at what was on offer, and this is how they sell to women, isn't it? It's always, there's always, it's always judgmental or there's an insult involved. I looked at the options, and they have quite rude questions. Are you dry? <laughs> like, I'm 42, but things are going quite well down there, I'll let you know. <laughs> are you difficult to manage? Damn right I am. She said, do you struggle with your volume? So I said as loud as I could, I just want fucking clean hair. <laughs> but I mentioned my uh, period before. I, f I always feel really uncomfortable talking about my period and I know that you guys do as well. I just don't care. Uh, <laughs> but it annoys me that I feel so uncomfortable because we're sort of led to believe that we should be ashamed of it. We're conditioned to think that way. And even when I buy sanitary pads or tampons, I get embarrassed by it. And I think that's annoying to me. And actually, tampons. I don't know why I said tampons. <laughs> what about this says tampons? <laughs> tampons are for women who definitely know which hole does what down there. <laughs> I am not that woman. I know which one I have the sex in, because I know which one I definitely don't have the sex in. But when I buy my sanitary pads, I just, I just make out like they're for something else. I just say to the cashier, like, oh, just defrosting me freezer. <laughs> I was in the car recently and I uh, had the radio on and a song came on, a pop song. So I don't know who it is, I liked it. It was some girl band or another. And I noticed in the song that every lyric, every line they sang was very breathy. Everything they said, everything they said was very breathy. And I used to work in a recording studio. That's the sort of thing that we would cut out, the sort of, <gasps> before people say anything. It sounded really odd to me. And then I thought, you know, I'm in my 40s. Maybe this is, this is sexy these days. Maybe this is what people do for sexy. So I thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> so my husband was away and I was at home and he rang and I answered and I said, How's your day been, love? <gasps> and he said, are you in the bedroom? And I thought, oh my God, it's working. <laughs> and I said, what made you say that? <gasps> and he said, you sound like you've just gone up the stairs. <laughs> That's my time. You guys have been so lovely. Thank you very much. Guys.